And did he know something about mind control? Oh, yeah. yeah. And what, what did he say? Well, his position in government was so high up that I, I'm, not, I'm not about to tell you who he was. No. But, but he was well aware of how the technology works to control. And, and here's one thing you need to know about mind control, is that when we talk about magic, Uh, magic to most people is the magician doing his magical stuff with the cards and all that. That's not magic. That's not, in fact, magic. That's sleight of hand. That's being crafty and clever. For the right. But that's not magic. Magic as a real, uh, a real thing is very, very powerful otherworldly demonism, devil worship. Kind of thing. Satanism. Yeah. The occult. Yeah. The occult. It's dealing with powers from the universe that you don't have, but you make a deal with them and they will let you, they will do for you what you need done and then you do for them what they need done. Is that what some people refer to as the archons? Yeah. And, and a lot of motion picture and entertainment people will tell you they've made a deal with the devil. And lots and lots and lots of important people have said that publicly. We made a deal Because with the devil. Because they took part in satanic rituals. Yes, taking part. In, uh, I, I could tell you things that are going on in Hollywood right now. But let me tell you something. Um, understand this. In Europe, uh, before the Roman Empire existed, before Rome, Europe was already dominated by a culture of people. And then Rome came along and overtook it. But there was already a very powerful culture of people in North, East, West, and Southern Europe. And this is where we get our word news, North, East, West, and South, you know, N-E-W-S. And so anything that happens in the North, East, West, or South is news. No, it's the, the letters make the word news. But uh, there was already a highly developed culture of people living in Europe. And they were called Druids. And today, there's still a very powerful uh, culture in Europe and America. America is pure, almost pure uh, Druid. Today, America is, is a Druid company, country. Well, so is Europe. Europe is very Druidic. And the ancient symbols and the words and terms, etc., uh, that they use in Europe, they don't realize those are Druid words and terms. Well, one of the most important symbols that the ancient Druids in Europe used Uh, and they were the, the Druids were always the lawyers, the doctors, the priests, the priests, uh, anything that was important to be, it was a Druid. The Druids were very powerful and very intelligent people. But the most important symbol that the Druids had for their magical to show that they were a magical priests was a was a magic wand, like Merlin the magician from England, Merlin the magician with a magic wand. Orchestra leaders and conductors around the world use a magic wand. So you play to their music, not yours. I'll tell you when to do this and when to do that. And so the magic wands were always a symbol of druidic magic, real magic. But magic wands were always made out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of holly wood. Get it? And so today, we are, we hum we are Americans are orchestrating magic around the world in Hollywood because it's a Druid symbol. And if you bother to go to the encyclopedias or go on the web and look and put into the web uh, 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 pictures, just pictures, just uh, images, not, 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 the, not the regular web, but just on images, and type in Jesus with magic wand. You will see all over Europe and around the world the Old Testament and New Testament people, the, the 12 apostles, Jesus, Abraham, all the uh, names in the, in the Bible are all doing their, their miracles with a magic wand. There's all kinds of pictures of Jesus with a magic wand raising the dead and feeding the poor. And the magic wands are made out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of holly wood. And so what I'm saying to you is that Hollywood 
is a very legitimately de jour and real magical system. And because of that, you have to do rituals, blood rituals, human sacrifice. There's a very powerful, real, legitimate, not of this world magic. And those people who are running Hollywood are connected to things you don't know anything about. And they, they have the power now to manipulate the world with motion pictures and television. Who's orchestrating that in Hollywood? All of that is being orchestrated out of Hollywood. But it's not because these people are so clever and, and resourceful and talented. No, they are connected to a power that is not of this world. They're connected to something going on that you would understand as demonism or devil worship or spirit worship. So and actors and singers take part in that? Oh, of course they do. Absolutely. Did you see the movie uh, that uh, uh, Eyes Wide Shut? Yes. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick died shortly after that movie was made. That's What do you letter. know about Eyes Wide Shut and Stanley Kubrick? Well, I just know that, first of all, that, that big party, that was a, a satanic mass of some sort, so some sort of a satanic thing. I'm not talking about uh, my influence on you or my influence because I'm a wealthy man and I'm influencing you. No. It was Hollywood is an influence you don't even know is happening. It's not of this world. It causes people to commit suicide. It can cause you to kill someone. Some kind of an other world connection to the human mind and to the human world that we live in is controlling you. If you're in, involved in Hollywood and you're involved in the motion picture business or in international banking or in the oil industry, the guys at the top who cause things to happen, they're all being manipulated by spirit forces. The Illuminati are humans that are being manipulated by spirit forces. We all, at the lowest level, all the way up to the Illuminati guys at the top, we are all human. And yet, some of us have magnificent powers to do things. We come into the world as a Rockefeller and we're changing society. But you don't, what you don't know is that the human race is being manipulated by a higher power that you can't see. But can, but can we put a name to that higher power? Well, I, I call it the spirit world. Is that the archons? Yeah, the archons. Yeah. And the Muslims call them the jinn. Yeah, that's exactly right, the jinns. And the, and the Christians call them demons and devils. The Jews call them uh, a different name. Everybody so they knows. are spirit beings. Yes, they are spirit beings. And they're not hot. physical. Not physical. They're spirit beings. They can work through reptilians. And some reptilians and other alien species are physical and some are non-physical. That's right? exactly right. But, but you need to understand that there is all over the earth a domination of the human family of humans by extraterrestrial or other world entities that you can't see. All the world of religion believes that there are spirits out there. God is out there and the angels are out there. That's who actually, in point of fact, runs Hollywood, are those spiritual entities. They are using Hollywood to manipulate us, to manipulate the human race. We put out movies that cause the riots. We put out movies that promote the one group against the other. So group. that is that is the mind control, the that, collective mind control. Yeah, exactly, but it's very, very real, very, very powerful, and really scary. Because if you hear that that they're sacrificing a child tonight, and you know there, there's human sacrifice in California, in Los Angeles, there's human sacrifice. Have you heard that that is actually real? Oh, God, yeah, of course. There's human sacrifice goes on continually in Hollywood. It's human sacrifice, children are being sacrificed. They're Why? Sac it's simple, it's very simple. Because if they are going to help you, they can help you. The spirits uh, have powers and no know knowledge and uh, powers and technology you don't know anything about. 
and they can do things that would just scare you and you think it's just God couldn't do this. Yeah. No, it's not God, it's an extraterrestrial and he's been around 400 million years and you haven't, so he knows a lot more about the universe and magic than you do. And so he can come here and look like God to you. I mean, and so if he gives me, if I make a deal with him, I'll give him my body and my life and my soul if you will give to me what I want. I want to be able to, to do what you do. I want to dazzle people with But why all. would you need to sacrifice another human or a child to, to, to gain that knowledge? That's because it's always been that way in religion. Anytime you go to a God in any religion and ask for something that he would give you, he wants something back. And so it's always been that way. Why do all the races of the world have gods that they sacrifice to? With that, he's also now, he's it's like the mafia, it's like underworld organization. You need something bad, you need a million dollars bad because your, your, your family is going to die. And you go to some big shot in the mob world and he says, okay, how much you need? I need 500,000 bad. So he says, okay, here's, here's the 500,000, okay. I give it to you, you want it, I'll give it to you. Now you owe me, you owe me. And when I call you for whatever I call you, you better be here. Because you came to me, I didn't come to you, you came to me and asked for something, I gave it to you. Now you owe me. And you, you take that lightly, you better think about it. Because you Better you say no to the 35,000. You don't ever say no to the guy who's the boss. But a lot of actors can become huge stars without being involved in oh, all of, of course, that. Of course, of course, yeah. But I don't think, I think that even the stars who are not actually taking part in these rituals are, they are aware. They are aware that when they're told something, you better listen. You know, I don't think that Robert De Niro's are just carefree and do whatever they want, no. But now there just came out a lot of um, revelations about Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, that doesn't, That didn't faze me at all.